After copying your MATLAB code over to the supercomputer, copy that file into a new file that ends with .f90, which is for Fortran 90, instead of your .m that you have right now. This way you will still have the original file available to you, and you can refer back to it if you need to. So you can make a copy of your MATLAB code by writing cp and then the name of your MATLAB code, which I'll just call it here working MATLAB code, dot m, and then the new Fortran, you know, call it whatever you like, new Fortran code dot f90. Uh, the only key here is that it has to start with a letter at the beginning of your Fortran code name. Now if you, after hitting enter, if you type ls, you should see both of the files listed in the directory. Now that we have a .f90 file with our MATLAB code copied into it, we can start directly editing the f90 code. What we will do is convert the code syntax from MATLAB over to Fortran. For this we can use an editor like Emacs or another option is VI which you can look up online. I'm going to describe Emacs here because that is the one that I use. You can open your Fortran file by typing at the command line Emacs-nw and then whatever your program name is here dot f90. You don't have to include this dash nw part. That part just means no window, meaning it will open the file in the current terminal window. If you don't include dash nw, the code will open it in a new window, and for that you have to have uh, x11 forwarding in place, which was should have been described on one of the videos you watched. Once the file is open, we can start editing the file. Listed here are a few Emacs commands. For example, you can use the arrow keys to move around the, f the file. Control X, Control S helps to save the file. You want to also make sure you can close the file reliably. So go ahead and spend a minute and make sure you can save, close, open the file, and make a simple edit to it. <laughs> 